Hey YouTube, just a quick video here about how bad will it hurt when you go to sell your silver or your gold? Um, and the answer to the question, in my opinion, should be that it shouldn't hurt all that much. If you look at your stack and think to yourself, if I had to sell all this tomorrow, would it be hard to sell it? Um, if your answer to that question is yes, I think you need to look at your stack hard and try to figure out ways to make it hurt less. <laughs> um, you know, and here's kind of what I mean by that. My rationale is just that if you look at your stack and you think it'd be really hard to sell, um, then you're probably flirting a little too much with that line of becoming a collector. And I am as guilty of it as anyone. Um, you know, I kind of had a, a couple months ago, I had this realization about how much uh, silver I had that I would have a hard time selling. Um, and definitely have a hard time selling at spot if it came to that. Um, so I've slowly over the last couple of months been kind of weeding out my semi-numismatics. I've been trying to sell some of it and flip it. Um, I think so far already this month I've sold 12 ounces of uh, semi-numismatic and uh, you know I'll probably end up getting about 18 ounces that I'll be able to buy with the proceeds from selling those 12. So I'll do a separate video on that but um, you know I'll probably end up coming out ahead about 6 ounces. Um, I've made a couple trades where I've traded some 2 ounce coins for 3 ounces of generic um, and I feel like I've come out well on those so I'll end up getting you know 8 to 10 ounces this month probably of quote unquote free silver um, you know just from uh, unloading some of my semi numismatic stuff and yes was the semi numismatic stuff way cooler than the generic that I traded it for absolutely but um, I'm going to lose less sleep when I go to sell that stack off if I have more generic and less of that semi numismatic that I know I'm going to just you know lose my shirt on um, so yeah I, I'm trying to get my stack there to where it's less of the stuff that's hard to sell and am I going to sell every cool piece that I have absolutely not I've got a little stash here um, this is just some of it but this is some of the stuff that I'll keep. I've kind of got it separated from my other stack. Um, some of the stuff that I'll keep um, probably, you know, end up being legacy pieces for my kids. But um, I try with my stack to try to keep it around 100 ounces of stuff that I'm really, um, that I'm really sentimental and really want to try to keep. Um, so if I get new stuff that I really am into, I'll try to go through my bin of keepers and see if there's stuff I can take out that I maybe don't feel as strongly about now. Um, and maybe it'll be more than that, who knows, I mean, but I I wouldn't want my stack to be like half half of it be coins and, or bars or rounds or whatever that I'm really attached to, because at that point it's going to be hard if the time comes to sell. I want, I look at my silver like savings, and so if something happened tomorrow and, um, you know, my wife had a health concern or something and we needed quick cash, I wouldn't want to be wrestling with that, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose all this money taking you know, all these kookaburras and uh, lunar coins into my local coin shop and getting spot for them. So um, I've slowly tried to unload some of those and at the same time get some extra ounces from it and add some weight. So it's been good, I think, for me and for my stack to slowly kind of uh, make it so that it'll hurt less when I go to sell it. And it does hurt some. I mean, watching, packing up a you know, two ounce lunar horse. I packed one up today, a two ounce lunar horse that I sold, but, um, you know, I sold it for 60 bucks and, uh, you know, that's, I'm going to come out in over an ounce ahead, you know, um, closer to two probably. So, you know, I think it was, uh, yeah, it hurt a little bit, but it's going to be nice to get that extra silver onto the stack. And honestly, once I got dropped in the mail, it's like, I've, you know, almost forgotten about it already. So, um, I, just a thought exercise I'd encourage you to try is to think about how hard it's how hard it's going to be, how much it'll hurt when you go to sell your stack. And if the answer is it's going to hurt a lot, I think you should try, in my opinion, to make it hurt less, um, to try to get to a point where it's a little bit more fluid. And m maybe you have a different philosophy than me. You know, my, I like, like savings, like I said, and um, I want to be able to be liquid. I want to be able to turn it to cash anytime I want. Um, but if you're into it uh, and you're, you know that you're going to eventually sell your stack on eBay, then yeah, go nuts, get semi-numismatics as much as you want because there is money there 
and it's not necessarily always tied to the spot price. So uh, if if you are willing to, you know, sell your entire stack on eBay uh, or privately or whatever, then you probably could do okay. But I'm just not willing to do that. Uh, I want it to be more liquid. Um, you know, if it, if it makes a big jump tomorrow, I want to be able to take it in there and cash in on that big jump. So anyway, guys, that's my thoughts for the night. Uh, how bad will it hurt when you go to sell your silver? Hopefully not all that much. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. God bless.